It was a bit of a rough week here in our Guaranteed to Lose segment in Week 10 as the Detroit Lions and the Cleveland Browns found ways to win their games uh, at home. Really thought Washington was going to be able to pull off that upset as well as Houston. Uh, but we did get the Giants beating Philadelphia right. So kudos to us on that one. We're going to bounce back here in Week 11 as we are going to reveal our four teams that are guaranteed to lose in Week 11. The first team that is guaranteed to lose is the Jacksonville Jaguars. This one's a gimme. They're facing the Pittsburgh Steelers while it's at home uh, in Jacksonville. Pittsburgh's 9-0. They might be the best team in the NFL right now. Jacksonville will be starting Jake Lutton at quarterback. Their defense is atrocious. Uh, ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers are hitting on all cylinders on offense with their dynamic wide receiver core uh, with Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, Juju Smith-Schuster, and James Washington. Look for this to be a game that maybe starts off a little slow from Pittsburgh because Mike Tomlin has a tendency to do that. But for this ultimately to become a blowout in which Pittsburgh scores 30, maybe even 40 points against one of the league's worst defenses. The second team that is guaranteed to lose is the Denver Broncos. Again, this is another give me. Uh, Denver has arguably the worst run defense in the NFL. They gave up over 200 rushing yards to the Las Vegas Raiders last week. Uh, they had five turnovers on offense. Drew Locke threw four turnovers. And the Raiders don't even have a really good defense. This week, they'll be playing a Miami Dolphins team uh, that we absolutely love here in the game day. Uh, we think they might be one of the four or five best teams in the conference. Uh, Miami has the cornerbacks and the pass rush uh, to slow down Denver's offense. Uh, Drew Locke is a little bit banged up. Don't expect this game to be close at all. Look for Miami to establish the run early, create big plays in the passing game, and win this game by double digits here in Week 11. The third team that is guaranteed to lose is the Indianapolis Colts, who are favored over the Green Bay Packers entering Week 11. Again, I just don't trust Phillip Rivers. And if you're asking me to bet on Aaron Rodgers or Phillip Rivers, I'm taking Aaron Rodgers every single time. The Packers' run defense has been a bit of a problem this season, and maybe the Colts can establish the run with Jonathan Taylor, Neheim Hines, and a Jordan Wilkins, but I'm not counting on it. I'm not thinking they're not going to be able to score enough points to keep up with the Packers, who just have too many weapons on offense. Uh, we're seeing Devontae Adams play the best football of his career. Aaron Jones is getting healthier, and Aaron Rodgers getting back into the MVP race. I like the Packers to win by a touchdown or more in Indianapolis. And finally, the last team that is guaranteed to lose in week 11 is the Las Vegas Raiders who will be playing at home against the Kansas City Chiefs. The last time these two teams met, the Raiders were able to pull off a shocking upset in Kansas City. They were able to pressure Patrick Mahomes. Uh, they were able to get an interception, the only one that Mahomes has thrown this season. While they do have the running game to potentially keep Mahomes off the field, this is going to be a, re a revenge game for the Chiefs. I can easily see Patrick Mahomes throwing for 400 yards and four or five touchdowns. You know Andy Reid and the Chiefs want to get back at the Raiders. They're going to pull out all the stops. This is going to be a track meet on La in Las Vegas on Sunday Night Football. Don't be surprised if this is a close game for a little bit, but I expect the Chiefs to absolutely run away with this and establish their dominance in the AFC West. Which teams are guaranteed to lose in week 11? Please make sure you comment and leave your answers. And as always, thank you for watching the game day.